Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Let's Check Out Dragon Warrior for the NES. And, yeah, this is very uncommon. I don't like RPGs, as you guys know, some of you guys know. But I talked to a friend of mine about this. I was telling him I'm working on Dragon Warrior Part 1. He suggested that I play 3 and 4 because those are actual RPGs, and that this, the first two, not so much, because the first two, I don't think you travel in a party just like you do in Final Fantasy, so, but, I just thought off the top of my head, what's a game I haven't played yet, that's old school, and yes, Dragon Warrior, and I've, I think I've seen friends of mine play this game when I was a kid, but don't have too many memories of it, never really sat down and played it myself, so, and I'm not good at these type of games, my friend said it's more so of an adventure game than an RPG, even though it feels like it, because you do commands like hit, talk, speak, and all that stuff, but, he says it's not really because you don't really travel in a, in a party like, you know, four fighters at a time like you do in Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger. It's just you by yourself. So, this is my first time playing this type of game. I mean, I, I mean well, actually, it's, I mean, my first time playing Dragon War, you're not really this type of game. As you guys know, I did Chrono Trigger a while back. So right here, I again I've heard of this game, never really played it. Now, one more. Thou must help us recover the ball of light and restore peace to our land. Yeah, see if I would have played these type of games when I was a kid, I would have been totally lost. I mean I did play Zelda when I was a kid. So hard to me because as a kid I, I I was mainly attracted to games like Contra, Mario Brothers, Mega Man. Then I stumbled upon Simon's Quest, and that was a different type of game. And these are right here, RPGs. Just personally, not a big fan of. However, I have been interested in trying more RPGs out, even though I'm terrible at it. So right here, I'm just picking up these items and trying to level up or power up as much as I can before I head out the door for my big adventure. Of course, as Skip Rogers would say, well, actually, or, yeah, he would say, talk to everyone here. Which is good advice, actually. I remember an article, I think, in Nintendo Power Magazine years ago where there was a part of the magazine that said, the greatest advice in video games of all time, talk to everybody. It's pretty much true, talk to everybody. I feel like I'm playing Star Tropics right now because I'm going around just talking to so many people that's around me at once even though I don't think you have to talk to everybody here in order to advance to the next part of the game like you had to in Star Tropics which is kind of annoying but that was still a great game let's see if this is or let's see if I think this is a great game Yeah, Ron Moore, all the character is just the perfect characters to fit, because one more I couldn't put another character in there for the name, so that fit perfectly. That's pretty good. Why's the key got disappeared? Why can't I still keep it? Come on. I use the key to get out of here. I have the key to get out of here. Like, it's the king's castle, whatever, and he sends me on my way. But oh, I gotta find a key first to get out of here. Can't the guards just let me out? That's kind of weird, but anyway. How do you go? Well, it's not like Zelda or Star Tropics. I gotta do something else here. And that's select stairs. That's weird. What? That's, nah, that's kind of dumb. I can't just move toward the stairs and go down. That's, yeah, that's kind of weird. King Loki? Oh, Lorik will record thy deeds in his imperial scroll so thou may return to somewhere. Okay, so I guess Loki got his wish and he's finding the King of Asgard, so I gotta find King Loki here. Breconary? Broccoli? Was a paradise. Then the Dragon Lord's minions came. Come here! Turn around and talk to me when I speak to you. Princess Gu Gwalin, Gwalin, Gamalian? Oh no, not, not Zelda the Wanda Gamalian, or whatever it was called. Oh, let's, yeah, let's just move on. It's 
so right here I am just making sure to talk to everybody because that's really what you gotta do in adventure games and you know it's kind of cool too to see what someone would say and get as much information as you can and of course I act like I know about RPGs which I really don't but at least I know the importance of talking to everybody I uh, Yep, I gotta have a key. I, yeah, that key, that key disappears, so I can't use that key. Even if it was the right key. I don't know if it'd be the right key or not, but to become strong enough to face future trials, that was the first battle. Well, I need a key for that, too. And No clue. Guess that's who I'm looking for too. Okay, who is this? Oh, uh, thank you. I don't know what just happened there. Did I get an energy or what? I don't think so. I don't know, but anyway. So as you guys can see, I am, you know, it's my first time playing this, obviously, and uh, again, not very familiar too good with these type of games, so if anybody wants to post a comment or whatever to tell me more about this game, or if I may be doing something wrong here already and I should be going a certain place or whatever, then let me know. I think someone already told me to go east, so uh, let me go in here first and talk to some more people. Or someone got butt hurt in my Willow video, parts one or two, whatever it was back in 2009. Well, I've never seen anybody play this game as bad, Ron Moore. You should listen to the villagers in this town and went this way and that went. Yeah, I know, but I like to. These games I'm playing for the first time, I just want to go around and check everything out. Not exactly listen to what I'm told. I'm not. This is not a full playthrough. I'm not. This is not a long play or. Or a let's play I'm trying to finish. Just a game I'm playing around with and checking out for the first time, so. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I need to buy a small shield. Mm, nope, not right now. I only got 30. Did I say $30? 30 golds? This type of adventure game I uh, did back in 2008. Magic of Scheherazade, or I just like to call it Magic of Schwarzenegger, and so I didn't do too good in that one either. That's a three or four part. Let's check out. So check that out. This could also be a topic of discussion in the comments section below. What is your favorite Dragon Warrior game and why? I believe there's four of them to the best of my knowledge for the NES. I don't know about any other system. And do you agree with my friend? If three and four is the best one to start out with, not one and two. Let me know in the comments section below. Let's go in here. Oh, another fortune teller? Oh no. Eh. Can't really buy. I don't want to sell anything. I don't know what I got to sell right now? Let me get more golds by finding some enemies out there in the open field or wherever it is once I leave this town. Have I talked to this guy already? Alright, All right, I'm trying to find my way out of here. There we go. Uh oh, here we go. A red slime. Let me fight this thing. I think I can take it. One hit point. I don't, I don't know if, Do I have a sword or anything? Come on, I got 13 hit points. All 
Alright, well I got one gold. That's good. Let's see if I need to do any more grinding. Oh, here we go. A green slime now. Or it just says slime. Not, I think it's green or aqua green, whatever. It's like one of those dark nuts or whatever, except it's not dark, but uh, those characters from Zelda, the NES, uh, the very first one. Alright, thou hast done well in defeating the slime. <laughs> yeah, that's a great accomplishment. I beat slime. It's not Slimer from Ghostbusters. Oh, wait. Oh, is that Slimer from Ghostbusters? Like, different version? Nope. That's... A go... Is this a Poe from Zelda? Ocarina of Time? See, I don't know. I, this right here is what I'm not good at. What strategies to use. I'm just hitting... Oh, I can't... A torch. That's not going to work on him. Oh, man. This... Oh, man. I'm about to die. This ghost right here... Yeah, I'm about to die right here. Yep. Alright, so let's try this again. Okay, thank you. I do need more experience in this game. Ah, alright, so let's get out of here. Alright, back in the Hyrule field, I mean open field, and now I gotta find another slime. Or, no, I don't, I'll just run. If you can't beat it, run. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go east, but uh... Let me just go over here and explore some more stuff. Like I said, my first time playing this game, I want to go exploring. Someone watching this is probably like, you better shut your Christopher Columbus looking. Talk. No one talked. Well, yeah, because he moved out of the way. Come here! save my money right now. If I buy a sword somewhere, that'll probably help things. Okay, I guess there's one clue. Look for a cave somewhere. This is a cool cave story, bro. Nestor! As in, I wonder if there's a reference to Nestor. Was Nestor around back then? No, I don't I'm not sure Nestor was around back then, 86, when this game came out, because Nintendo Power didn't come out to 88. Yep, eastward again, clue to go east. And I'll do that sometime later. No, not right now. here do some more exploring. Ah, oh, jeez. I really hate that. Just randomly run to enemies. Let's see if I cast a spell in this thing. Because this thing's not going to let me run, I don't believe, so. Great, so I got to fight this thing like a man. The ghost just laughing. One hit point, really? Ha <laughs> ha. He's over here taking off like four or five hit points for me. Dang it. See? It just randomly decides what happens. And that's what I understand by RPGs. But then again, where I'm told this is different from... Uh, this is actually not an RPG. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going by what a friend of mine told me who does know about adventure and RPG games. Oh, well, I beat it. Barely. I need some health, though. Well, at least I still have my health. <laughs> yeah, barely. Grr. Oh, 
upgrade a Drake. Let's see if I can run from this thing. Oh, good. Ah! I'm not fighting this little douche. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's dark. Ah, oh, this part reminds me of Hyde Glide. AVGN's review of Hyde Glide, and you're in the dark and you get hit by nothing. Hopefully, I won't be getting hit here. Okay, I'm stuck, so I can't get any further here unless I need a la lantern and a bomb or something to help me get further in that cave. Or that is a cave that they're talking about. And maybe that woman's in there. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later if I get that far in this game. And as you can see, there's at least two parts to this, and that might be it. So part two might be the last part, because, yeah. Just doing a check out of this, just to see, I guess, how far I can probably get my first try. Yeah, so, well, my first try, I failed already, I died, but... I'm going to play this game a little bit more, just to see, try to get more of a feel to it. Yeah, so I'm... Let's see if I beat this thing, or am I going to die? Ooh, that time. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna run. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Hey, come on! I didn't even run, just took a step. I'll try to run again. There we go. This music right here reminds me of Willow. The Willow in the, the NES game. Cool, I didn't know you go through these hills or mountains or whatever it is. Pink flowers. Surprised I haven't got stopped yet. Whoa, secret place or ah, Drake? Drakey? What? Dragon? Another Poe. Can't just capture it in the bottle. Oh, let me run from it that time. That's pretty cool. Cross that bridge. Mm. Alright, yeah. Now I'm going east here, so where's the next town or whatever? Ah! Another bridge. Magic Drake. Ah, great. Got blocked. That's it. I'm dead. Ooh, a spell hurt. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I got pwned. Well, I'll give it another chance in part two. Until then, God bless. Take care.